TV's 120 Minutes. My special guest tonight is Juliana Hatfield. I would say of the Blake babies, but they are no more, is that right? Yeah, we, we broke up. Now, That's did you one. did your leaving the band kind of prompt the breakup, or was that decided separately? Well, yeah, well, I actually decided to leave the band about a year before I really did leave the band. So we were prepared for the breakup for a long time. We were getting ready. So I made I made my record before the Blake Babies actually broke up. Mm. And had you been writing songs for the record over a period of time? Yeah, some of the songs on the record are three or four years old. How did that feel, going solo and, and breaking up the band? Was it kind of scary? Yeah, it was terrifying. It was really scary making the record, just because I, I didn't have the security of the band anymore. Right. And it was really a strange experience, but I'm glad I did it. You did, I guess, have the security of working with people you've known for a while. Yeah. Um, Evan Dando from the Lemonheads, members of Bullet the Volta, both Boston bands, Mike Watt of Firehose, John Wesley Harding. Now, yeah. particularly with Evan, um, you guys have you know, a, a fairly intense working relationship. You're kind of a part-time Lemonhead these days, you know? Yeah, well, I, Evan, I, Evan used to be in the Blake Babies for a while, too. He played bass, and then um, John Strom, he used to play guitar in the Blake Babies, played drums in the Lemonheads for a while, so it's been really incestuous for a really long time. So Evan asked me to play bass on his new record, and it just, you know, made sense, so I did it. But I, I didn't, we wanted to keep the band separate on the road, like me and then the Lemonheads, because I want to do my own thing rather than be a Lemonhead. Right, although you were on tour with them for a couple of months. Yeah, uh, opening for the Lemonheads. Right. All right, let's take a look at the first video. This is Everybody Loves Me But You. More coming up with Juliana Hatfield. She'll be playing a song for us. Everybody Loves Me But You from Juliana Hatfield. Very catchy. Yeah. A classic pop song. Thanks. What inspired the lyrics? Well, I saw somewhere a few years ago, I saw the title, Everybody Loves Me But You. Um, it was the title of some Brenda Lee song or something. And I, I went searching for the song because I loved the title and I wanted to sing it. And I couldn't find the song. And uh, so I just wrote a song just wrote around the title. And you haven't come across it since? No, nobody I know has. discovered it's exactly the same chords. Yeah, that would be weird. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about, about being a, a woman in rock? I know you've made some comments in the press before about, about the stereotypes that, that women uh, generally have and are, are faced with. Well, the only reason that... Um, People always ask me about about that the gender thing, but it it wasn't really an issue with me until people started asking me about yeah. it. I just wanted I just wanted to play music, um, and I don't know. You know, I don't think it's really a big a big deal for me. I don't get I don't get a lot of um. It, it's fine for me playing music. I don't get um, you know, um, discriminated against or anything. And you don't see yourself as being any kind of role model or spokesperson? Um, I'm not trying to be. Maybe I am to some people, and that's okay. And um, But I'm not trying to be. Maybe the best role model you can be is just being true to yourself. And yeah. Letting it flow. Yeah. And there's definitely a void um, in music these right now for... There's, there's a lot more guys making music than girls. And people... Um, people just want to... They want to see more women doing it, I think, and people are just open, really open right now to seeing women play music. So I'm, I'm at a good, I'm, I'm at, it's a good time for me to be playing music. Right. Well, you're going to actually <coughs> play some music live here on 120 Minutes, right? Yeah. Stay tuned for that in the second 60 of MTV's 120 Minutes. Welcome back to MTV's 120 Minutes. Juliana Hatfield is here, and you just came off a tour with the Lemonheads. You're going to do some dates with a new band, your own band this time. Yeah, I got. I have a a new band newer than the last tour I did with the Lemonheads. It's um, Todd Phillips on drums. He used to be in Bull of Volta. Right. And then Dean. And they've broken up now, right? Yeah, Bull they just Volta. recently broke up. And then um, Dean Fisher on bass, who I went to high school with. And um, yeah, we're going to go out on the road, September 23rd. Okay. 
that. And presumably you'll you'll be playing a lot of songs off the first solo album, Hey Babe. Yeah. The one you're going to do for us right now, though, is not off Hey Babe. It's, it's right. a brand new one. Yeah, I wrote this a few days ago. And um, it's going to be, I just recorded it as a B-side to the next single. It'll come out in a little while. What's the next single going to be? I See You. Okay. All right, it's what's called, the name? It's called Feed Me. Okay. 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 